हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय बायोलॉजी क्लास दिस इज ऑन चैप्टर फोर सिंथेसिस फॉर क्लास इलेवन टुडे वी शेल डिस्कस सी फोर पाथवे नाउ व्हाट इज सी फोर पाथवे इफ यू रिकॉल ऑन द लास्ट सेशन वी हैड डिस्कशन ऑन सी थ्री पाथवे व्हिच इज वेरी कॉमनली फाउंड इन मोस्ट ऑफ द प्लांट्स अवेलेबल इन नेचर Today's discussion is on C4 pathway, another biochemical pathway where carbon dioxide is fixed by plants, but it is fixed twice. We shall discuss in details how we, twice it is being fixed. Interestingly, it is found to be operation in about 18 angiosperm families, out of which about three are monocots. and 15 are dicot families and in total about 1500 species where c4 plants are found 1500 species where c4 plants operates some of the common examples are sugarcane maize sorghum cypress euphorbia amaranthus etc now we were discussing the different species where c4 cycle operates and these plants are called as c4 plants in this slide you can see two diagrams two photographs actually on the left is maize or corn and on the right is sorghum apart from this there are various dicot species also like amaranthus euphorbia where they are also considered as c4 plants because c3 c4 cycle operates in these plants now let me tell you some important characteristics of such plants where c4 cycle is operative first of all these plants grow in tropical and subtropical areas where the temperature is quite high and salinity is also common apart from this the most important anatomical feature is crunch anatomy a very common question you may ask what does crunch mean crunch actually means wreath if you see the diagram see the central part where the vascular bundle is shown here the vascular bundles are surrounded by bundle sheath cells you can see the large cells surrounding the vascular bundles in such plants where such arrangement is found it is called as crunch anatomy and in c4 plants it is a common feature apart from the mesophyll cells there are bundle sheath cells one more important characteristics that is these plants have dimorphic chloroplast now what is a dimorphic chloroplast dimorphic chloroplast means when the chloroplast of bundle sheath cells are quite large and are granular means we having no grana and mesophyll cells they also have chloroplast but are small and have grana so such type of combinations having bundle sheath cells having which are are granular chloroplast and mesophyll cells with granular chloroplast these are called as dimorphic or two types of chloroplasts hatch and slack pathway commonly called as c4 cycle now hatch and slack in 1966 worked out this biochemical pathway and observed that there are certain plants where carbon dioxide is fixed as four carbon compound these plants are called as c4 cycle or c4 plants now if you see this diagram it is very clear that there are two cycles operating here you see the upper cell having this is called as mesophyll cell below that is the bundle sheath cell and the innermost part that is the vascular tissue two cycles operates in two different cells the c4 cycle operating in the mesophyll cell and calvin cycle operating in the bundle sheath cells if you recall the c3 cycle 
or in the C3 plants, there was only one cycle called as Kelvin cycle operating in the mesophyll cells. Here, there is a big difference. What happens here is carbon dioxide or the atmospheric carbon dioxide is initially accepted by PEP or phosphoenol pyruvate in the mesophyll cells and is converted into a 4 carbon compound called as oxaloacetic acid. Now oxaloacetic acid then converts into malic acid which is another 4 carbon compound. Malic acid is transported from mesophyll cells to the bundle sheet cells where it leaves one molecule of carbon dioxide and is converted into a 3 carbon compound pyruvate. The pyruvate again returns to the mesophyll cells and becomes phosphenol pyruvate. This phosphenol pyruvate gets ready for accepting the next round of carbon dioxide with atmospheric carbon dioxide. The carbon dioxide left by malate in the bundle sheet cell now enters into Kelvin cycle and as you have, as you have learned earlier Kelvin cycle operates and glucose is formed. Here we shall try to understand the difference between C3 plants and C4 plants. I suppose by this time you have already understood the difference between C3 cycle and C4 cycle. So what are the characteristics of these two plants and how do they differ? C3 plants as I have said earlier in nature most of the plants maybe 90 to 95 percent plants are actually C3 plants. A very small number of plants belongs to C4 plants. C3 plants the C3, the C3 cycle operates in about 20 to 25 degrees centigrade whereas C4 plants can sustain for 30 to 45 degrees centigrade. So their photosynthesis continues in such high temperatures also. CO2 compensation point is 25 to 100 ppm parts per million in C3 plants whereas it is very low 0 to 10 ppm in C4 plants which means that even when the concentration of carbon dioxide is very low in the atmosphere C4 plants can survive, C3 plants cannot. If you consider the salinity tolerance C3 plants are they have very little tolerance whereas C4 plants are quite adapted. A great loss occurs in C3 plants due to photorespiration which is not detected in C4 plants. In our next discussion we will take up photorespiration where we will study in details. What is photorespiration? This is light dependent respiration occurring in plants. Normally the respiration which we know is an energy producing process also called as dark respiration in many cases occurs in cytoplasm and mitochondria but here it occurs in the chloroplast. It is a loss to the plant because the photosynthate glucose is used up in this respiration or less glucose is actually formed in respiration that is a C2 cycle which we will take up later on. These are found, these plants are found in all climates whereas C4 plants are found only in the tropical areas. There are many more differences. Cryogenotomy is not found in C3 plants, it is found in C4 plants. Apart from this, photosynthesis continues even when stomata is closed in C4 plants but it doesn't occur when it is closed in C3 plants. These are some important aspects. One very important aspect is the first stable product. Carbon dioxide is accepted by phosphenol pyruvate in C3 plants, in C4 plants sorry, whereas it is RUBP in C3 plants. Apart from this, there are many points which we cannot discuss much in details. 
transpiration ratio is much higher in C3 plants it is much low in C4 plants like this we can make out some differences between C3 plants and C4 plants now I have a list of some questions in many cases we ask students some questions and students also ask us many questions here I have five questions for you number one why the name C4 pathway very common question asked because carbon dioxide is fixed and the first product is is four carbon compound oxaloacetic acid so it is called as C4 pathway rest questions are for you questions are like this name the molecule which is the acceptor of atmospheric carbon dioxide in C4 plants next question in which cell C3 cycle operates in C4 plant that means in C4 plants I have just told you that there are two cycles operating C3 cycle and C4 cycle one cycle operates in the mesophyll cells other cycle also operates in the Bundeschild cells now you have to identify in which cell C3 cycle is operating in the next question what is the role of mesophyll cells here again since one of the C3 or C4 cycle is operating in the mesophyll cells it has important role what is that you have to answer and finally why Rubisco is not the primary CO2 acceptor Rubisco is the key enzyme for Calvin cycle here atmospheric CO2 is accepted by another enzyme why so friends do you still have questions to ask if so you may contact Abhijit Shah 65